Hello and welcome to ETS's Word of the Week. I'm Kelly Van Washinova, your host of this series, and thank you for watching. This week, we're going to listen to what your colleagues had to say about the word transformation. Okay, I like that word. It's a word I use a lot. Um, it means, to me, process and becoming. Um, so something that is constantly in motion and becoming different than what it was before. I feel like our, our lives um, are, are in a constant state of transformation. What's interesting is the first thing that comes to my mind is E. coli transformation, because that's what I do in the lab. Um, so you add in a piece of DNA and it changes the characteristics of the, so we did that like yesterday. <laughs> transformation for me is changing for the better. And transformation is a permanent or long lasting change for the better, not transient. Transformation. I think that that is the word for all of us. Um, I mean, this coming year is gonna be my 27th year at Denison. So, and I think I thought I was kind of set in regard to what my, my, uh, my bag of tricks were as a teacher. But I feel like I learned so much in the past year, I adapted and that there is, you know, I developed two new courses out of the experience. And I feel, you know, as we all know, it's always great. It's a great experience as a teacher to be learning at the same time. Uh, being aware of what you really can do, uh, thinking of ways in which to, to teach in new ways uh, and also thinking about how to learn as a student. I think back to my time as a Denison student and how my time on the Hill at Denison was truly transformational for me personally. And so I, I just think about the transformation that our students um, have in front of them when they come to campus and how they have the opportunity to shape that transformation in ways that um, meet, you know, that just depend on who they are personally and what they need individually. So I think the year was transformative for me in, and, and I hope transformative for our campus in really underlining the importance of what we do on a liberal arts campus. When I think about transformation, at least for the group of students that are coming in now, I'm thinking about how do we transform them back into students that can really learn effectively in the classroom, um, especially if they had more of a remote experience over the last couple of years. Um, but ultimately, you know, it's, it's, that's what education is about. It's about transforming people into who they ultimately will be, become. And they do a lot of that work themselves, but I think we try to provide the, the, um, the framework and maybe some of the motivation for that transformation to happen. You know, we have this space of a semester and it's this amazing sort of compact moment in time in which you work with a group of people to transform to some extent how we think, what we know, how we learn from each other. Uh, and so that feeling of transformation, I think it always goes from the small to the large. But, um, and I think that part of every individual transformation is also in connecting to the, the larger vision of the world that they want. I really try to make sure every single lesson has some kind of core idea that will, you know, bam, hit, hit the students and they'll leave with a spring in their step because they have like sort of like put two things together or they've connected something. Uh, uh, they feel like it was actually worthwhile to have been in the class or whatever the case may be. Uh, so that, that's how I would sort of talk about that word. So it's humbling, actually. It's humbling to truly participate in the transformation of, of students, of, of people, of the tra transformation of an educational approach. It's humbling because it requires that I, and I think we, be humble about the assumptions we make about what constitutes transformation for an entire group. And in fact, what might constitute transformation actually involves a holistic and quite complex 
arrangement of resources and and engagement across those resources. You know, kind of putting it in the context of this last year, um, I'd like to think that I have changed lots of things about my pedagogy and about the way that I interact with students. But in some ways, some of those things are pretty persistent, pretty obstinate. So I look at transformation as a process, <laughs> like, you know, not looking at it in the sense of like, wow, that was transformative in and of itself, but that we're moving towards that as a goal. One form to another, when I'm speaking to my congregation, I'm speaking of taking them from one state to another state or from one um, behavior to a different behavior. I, I learned something very interesting about butterflies a little while ago, and that was that when the cocoon, when the caterpillar is in the cocoon, it actually decomposes. It becomes a third substance. It, it becomes this sort of potential for the butterfly, but it's kind of yucky and goopy and, and then transforms. And um, I, I, so I really hope that as we uh, begin this year that we are emerging as butterflies and that we're no longer in that um, liminal state of yuckiness. So the, the 18th and 19th century German philosopher Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel uh, talks about a development of thought and development of lots of different things as being kind of a process or movement through time where things are always changing and always transforming. And oftentimes we think we're returning back to where we started, but we're never returning quite back to where we started because our having left it and gone through somewhere else has changed us and has changed the original starting place that we and that we left from. And so I think um, if we think, well, we're going to go back to things just as they were before the pandemic, I think that's mistaken and that, that the, the way it was is gone. But we can go back to something that is a, a transformed version of what was there before because of the journey we took through the pandemic. Thank you for watching ETS's Word of the Week series. I hope you all feel like beautiful butterflies emerging from the goop after watching these. Please join us for our ETS workshops. They're most of this week, so go ahead and take a look at the schedule in the description below. And we'll see you on campus this semester. Bye for now. So I really hope that as we uh, begin this year that we are emerging as butterflies and that we're no longer in that liminal state of yuckiness. <laughs> <laughs>